Hey, today I'm going to make some cannabis um, caramels. So I'm going to need some corn syrup to start, about a cup, a pound of brown sugar, some sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to use, it said one cup of butter, but since I'm already using cannabis butter, I do two thirds a cup of cannabis butter and then about six to six and a half tablespoons of regular butter. If you want less cannabis butter, you'll put more regular butter. And if you want more cannabis butter, then you'll put less regular butter. Brown sugar in here, sweetened condensed milk in here, the corn syrup and all of the, the butter in the, the pot, and we're gonna put it on the stove. So let's do it. Go, I'm gonna open this up. To get everything out of the can. And we are gonna put vanilla in it, but not until it's completely simmered um, and finished boiling and bubbling and we're ready to actually put it in a cool pan. When it's time to put it in a pan, make sure that your pan has parchment paper on it because it's a real son of a bitch to try to get it out. So there goes the corn syrup. Cannabis butter going in. Regular butter going in. So I'm going to stir this up and then I'm going to put it on the stove. I put the stove on about medium. Now what you really have to get is a candy thermometer. For me, I like soft caramels, so I stop usually around the temperature of 238 Fahrenheit. It says there on, on your candy, your candy thermometer exactly where soft balls and hard balls. <laughs> softballs and hardballs are. So put it on the back here. Don't really touch it. When this starts boiling, make sure you constantly stir. If you don't do that, it sticks to the bottom of the pan. You get this really hard film. It makes caramels, cannabis caramels, um, taste really burnt and you don't want to do that. You can whisk. I always like a spoon. It typically takes a good 20 minutes to do. So there you can see it. I've got my pan with pretty much everything in it. And it's just over medium heat. And then I've got my parchment paper and my um, just a regular pan. So this is what it looks like when it's first starting to all melt and mesh together. It doesn't look like much, but you can tell that the thermometer is already going up. Move it back and forth even though it hasn't all mixed together. It's pretty thick. It's not too runny. We'll keep it turning it and turning it. Okay, so at this point, it's all melted together and it's consistently boiling. We're almost at about 200 Fahrenheit, so we're working ourselves up there, but this this is the point right now where you have to keep your spoon constantly moving. But you see the solid boil on that. Okay, we're almost there. You can kind of tell on the, the top of it where it almost looks like little fluffy clouds where things um, definitely look like they've changed and they're um, maybe a little bit runnier, but it's definitely um, almost ready to go. I think we're at 225, so we've got about three more degrees. So I'm still constantly stirring. I'm almost done here. I'm almost at that 238 number. I'm gonna just shut off the heat. I'll take this candy thermometer out and I'm gonna add oh, about two teaspoons of vanilla, which is, I'll stir that in. And then I'm gonna put it in my dish with parchment paper. Now there's gonna be some left on the bottom, but don't scrape that out. There's always a little bit of burn on the bottom. I still have a little bit left on the, on the bottom. See? And I was constantly stirring. We're gonna let this sit and get to room temperature. Take one of these and weigh everything out. So I have the same amount every single time. So I know exactly what I'm putting into my body. I know exactly how much um, I'm getting. With this many, I'll do about 15 grams. I'll let this cool and then I'll show you what I do and how, how I like to roll it, how I like to cut it out. All right, it's been a couple days since I've made this, but that's the thing with Karna. You can do it two days or three days after, just remember to refrigerate it. So now we are gonna pre-wrap these into individual sizes. So I have my scale here. It's really important that you make sure you 
put every portion out the exact same, otherwise you're gonna get a different high every single time. So if you're just starting out and you wanna do um, a couple of different weights, that's fine. I know I like 15 grams for one treat. So I have your parchment paper. You're gonna cut up into little squares. Some water because your hands get really, really sticky. If you add a little bit of water to your hands, it seems to slide off a, a little bit more. And then of course, we're gonna weigh out everything. I take my caramel out of my pan, super easy. Put this pan away and grab my knife. Look how easy it comes off the parchment paper. It's very, very easy. Now I'll take a square that I pre-made, I'll turn it on and I'll put 15 in there. So I can take my knife and because it's a soft caramel, if you get 12 the first and you add a little bit afterwards, it's no big deal. It'll melt all together again so it won't look like it's little itty bitty bits and pieces. So I'll take a little piece of this. That's 16, I might take a little bit off. 16 is okay though too. That's 15. And then I can begin to wrap. Place it on here. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of salt to it on top. There we go. So it's a salted caramel, and that actually enhances the flavor. I really like that too. Flip it over, flip it over again. Twist the edges. And you got a candy. Let's do one more. So I'll put it on here. Go like that. I've got 15 on the dot. Add a little bit of salt. Flip it over so I can have the pretty part lying down. Flip it over. Twist the edges off. Just like this. And I've got two candies already. This batch, I'll probably end up with about 80, 86 of them. Next time I'll show you a really good coconut covered chocolate macaroon that um, has really good flavor. It covers the cannabis really well. This covers cannabis flavor as also as well, but if you're looking for something where you really don't want to taste any of the cannabis flavor, but you still want the cannabis, um, check out my next video. It's going to be a chocolate covered macaroon and that really speaks to everybody's taste buds. So thanks for watching.